Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are doing well. It is a new video, a new week. It is Monday. And it's been a while since I've actually picked up the vlog camera because the last couple of videos you saw were backlogged. But today's video should be good. I'm gonna be hopefully training with one of my online clients who's coming down to train near me. For breakfast, we have the usual. Two eggs, egg whites, porridge oats, dark chocolate, peanut butter, fruit. I've added in dark chocolate to that bowl because um, I'm trying to take my fats a little bit higher and I've been struggling to get them in throughout the day. So uh, just adding a little bit to the breakfast. Dark chocolate before you train is pretty good. It's very good for vasodilation. Um, good flavonoids in there as well, get some antioxidants. Not too many antioxidants because obviously we're gonna be training. One very simple thing you can do is cook a load of chicken in a pan and then just add a packet of tilde rice or any kind of rice, vegetables, portion it into two portions. So then you've got one portion to eat then and then one portion to eat later. And then you've got two meals, lunch and dinner, basically sorted. So a little tip for the lazy or busy. Efficiency. <laughs> okay, it is clearly the next day. I have trained. Did pull today, went very well. Lower back is okay so far. Haven't done anything which is gonna load my lower back because I'm being sensible with it. Being an adult about training, which is important. I wanna put something in this video is a little bit different and I might continue this segment on if it, if you know people like it. If you do like it, be sure to comment below. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll get a little bit of, a, little bit of everything on the fork. I'll show you the first bite. This might be in my mouth. Mmm. I burnt my mouth. Okay. This segment of the video is gonna be called Not My Question, But My Answer. No, my answer to not my question. No, 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 we will call it Not My Question. Now, the reason I'm gonna call it Not My Question is because it's a Q and A. But the thing is, the problem is, every time I do a Q and A, most of the questions are How do I lose weight? How much creatine should I take? What's the best split? Should I do so cardio before, before or after the workout? Although I love doing those, like telling people that information, I want some different kind of questions. So, the answer to that is this. The internet. The internet. The internet. 
I'm gonna find other people's Q and A's and answer my answer to their question. Hence the word, not my, not question. my question. Okay? That's a pretty simple concept. We shall go into YouTube. Let's try and screen grab this. Um, Here we go, we got angles going on. Hopefully this is working, I don't know if this is working. If this is working, then well done me for being an editing genius. Let's go Q and A. Uh, let's find like a juicy looking one, another child. What is it with so many children on YouTube? Especially she's got more subs than me as well. Yeah, she's got blue tick. Who's this kid? Blue tick. I need to up my game. My first spicy Q and A. Spicy Q and A. That's what we're looking for, Colby. Colby Brooks. Thanks. Well, my internet is shit. Now to this video. Uh, let's start. <laughs> Just bloody clothes on. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. What's up, Colby? Let's skip ahead. Yeah, shut up. Okay. Have you ever hooked up with the same person as Brennan? I can see this video might not work that well. Who the fuck's Brennan? Why are apartments called together? Because it's English, mate. Ah, maybe this video is such a bad idea now. Let's let's move on to the next one. Knight asks, if you were a girl for a day, what's the first thing you would do? Okay, in all honesty, and I hope my family members don't hear this, I would I would just want to know what it feels like for a girl. Obviously, when you have sex, you know what it feels like for a guy, but I'd quite like to know just what it feels like from the other perspective. Because apparently it's much better as a girl, just saying. Okay, let's move on. Gunther asks, how often do you eat Brennan's ass? Chelsea Gunther asks, what do you look for in a girl? What do I look for in a girl? Well, I don't really have a certain type to be honest. Like, I used to think I had a type, and then I met my current girlfriend, and um, she's like, she's different to what I've like dated before in the past, um, but in a nice way. Oh, I love really good. I, I'm a sucker for dimples, clear eyes, like I like bright eyes, rather than like dark eyes on a girl. Hair color, I'm not really too fussed about. Preferably not ginger, not not racist, but that's just my preference. Shorter than me, that's, that's quite a key thing for me. If you're the same height as me or tall, like, I, I don't think I'd ever date a girl that was taller than me. It just doesn't. It just doesn't work for me. Like, I'm about. I'm. I'm five ten and a half. No, don't work for me. Junk in the trunk, like a bit of ass. It is difficult to find a girl with a bigger ass than me. However, like a bit of junk in the trunk and the front. You know what I'm saying? That's about it. Like a good sense of humor as well. Like easy to get on with. Likes to just chill and watch TV programs kind of thing as well. All that kind of stuff. Put my phone down can you do a handstand for 10 seconds? There's not really much room, but hell, for the video. Oh. Ooh. I would have been able to hold that, but my toe hit the light. I can hold a, a handstand for a lot longer than 10 seconds, but here we go. We'll move on. OMG, look behind you. A. Marie asks, how many girlfriends have you had? I mean, official girlfriends have I had? I mean, you don't really count the ones at school, do you? Um, I would say three proper girlfriends. Um, apart from like the person you date for a week in school, and, like, <laughs> yeah, three. No, I'm just kidding. I probably have like one real girlfriend. Am I doing anything wrong? Uh, naughty, only by Santa Claus. Have I ever been caught doing something naughty? I mean, I've cheated at Scrabble a couple of times. Would you jump off a cliff without pants? Yes. Ask what is your favorite quote? What is my favorite quote? Life is never endingly interesting. Life is never endingly interesting. I think it's it's something along those lines, but it's from The Great Gatsby. I saw The Great Gatsby last week, so. Asks what made you realize you were in love for the first time? This is a very deep question. But I think the very first time which I thought I was in love, I wasn't really in love. Being with that person, obviously being with someone and being happy when you're in with that person is part of a relationship, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily love. I mean, what is love? Love is a deep question, but what made you realize you were in love the first time? 
To be honest, I have absolutely no idea. Love is a very complicated question, so I can't answer that one. I personally think I'm a bit of a social path, so I don't even, I'm, it takes me a long time to be able to process emotions. So, I don't know. Brian. Brian the Peacock, I think that'd be a brilliant name. Brian, Brian! <laughs> brilliant Brian. Uh, no, Brian. Do you feel uncomfortable slash annoyed when fans come up to you in public? No. Um, no. I mean, okay, I'm not going to say fans, but I've had people come up to me in the gym and said, like, oh, I watch your Instagram, I like what you put out and all this kind of stuff. Um, and then they ask about your training and things like that. I, I'm more than happy to talk with people. If you put yourself out on social media, you need to be able to be understood that people are gonna to come to you as well. It's the same with like, when people slide into DMs with a question, it's like, I'm putting lots of content out there, people are gonna have questions, so just because you get loads of questions through, don't be frustrated that you've got a load of questions to get back to. It is annoying when people just put, hi, how's it going? It's like, say something. Don't just say hi. Okay, so it looks like the rest of this video is all stuff that I have no idea what he means about. I'm gonna end that. And I hope you enjoyed that little miniature segment of Not My Question. If you did enjoy it and you'd like me to do it again, please let me know. And maybe send me a link to a Q&A which you'd like me to answer of somebody else's questions. Yeah, not my answer, not my question.